is so great to see you. It's uh, been I, a long time. It's been a while, but yeah. you, you're alive whenever you want. But whenever you want to come on our show, please come on. Thank you. Please, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, you and Matthew. I'll be, I'll be visiting next time. I have a great omelet. <laughs> yeah, just come, just come and make an omelet. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I, I, I just saw the movie. Uh, it's fantastic. It is a big movie. It's a big movie. Uh, it's our biggest yet is, in the Ant-Man franchise. Wait till you see it. It's it's massive. Uh, I was going to ask you though. Franchise. Yeah. Do you do, do you remember getting into acting? And like your first couple of roles and like how I, that... I was not looking to get into acting when I got into acting. Really? I was in university. I was a broke student. I just needed to make some money and a job that was flexible. I had no rear window in my car. It was duct tape because I couldn't afford to replace wow. it. Wow. I was living on like peanut butter and tea. And somebody told me <laughs> there's this great thing you can do. You can go on film sets. You can study all day. They give you free food and they pay you for it. Wow. And I was like, fantastic. And I hooked myself up with an extra gig. And the first day on set, they were like, you, do you want to be an actor? I was like, nope, don't. Actually, I want to study my books. They're like, great, you're hired. <laughs> and they upgraded me to actor. No way. The first day on set. See, it's yeah. just meant to be. And I just had to kiss some guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I was on screen, on screen, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. That's all you had to do. Yeah, it was just on screen. It was innocent. Yeah, it's called cool. innocent. Yeah, and then, and then I went on to commercial work because that paid a lot more. Yeah. But then that was really degrading. And then my agent was like, "Can I just send you out for some real roles?" I was like, "Dude, I don't want to be an actor. When are you gonna figure this out?" He's like, "Just let me do it." And I go, "Okay, fine." Yeah. And that was in January of 2004. And in March of 2004, I was in Hawaii shooting Lost. Wow. No way. And you were phenomenal Lost. And I got to replace my back windshield. <laughs> <laughs> All the peanut butter you want. No, actually, I got rid of that car. And actually, the vehicle I bought that first season was a 2001 Ford Escape. It was a used Ford Escape from the dealership. I am still driving that car to this day. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah just 20 years I love later. you, a Ford Escape. 20, yeah, just a mom soccer vehicle that I've been driving for 20 years. I was thinking about this because Lost was very secretive, obviously. Oh. Uh, you, you're not supposed to know what's supposed to happen, what's going to happen. I go, Marvel is completely secretive. So you must be good at keeping secrets. You're like, yeah, I'm used to this. I'm really not good at keeping secrets, and I'm really rebellious against the whole secrets thing, because I'm like, guys, this isn't Pentagon secrets. We're not holding really, really life-changing, important information. Yeah. And and I, when I was on Lost, we were sort of the, f the beginning of that secretive thing, because Twitter was invented while I was shooting Lost. Oh, yeah. There was a world before Twitter, for those of you who are on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, in there, the audience. Yeah. And, and so the fans got crazy, and every, suddenly there were people hungry to find out what was going to happen next. So they asked me to install a lockbox on the porch of my house so that they could put my scripts in a lockbox. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way. I'm not installing a lockbox. It's a script. You're going to deliver it. You're going to leave it on my porch. And they were like, if I do that, I will be fired. I have to put it in a lockbox. Someone's going to leak out what's yeah, going on in yeah. the lost and ruin everything. Yeah, I never did install the lockbox. No. All of my scripts were just hanging out on the porch when I would yeah, get home. Yeah, come read it, yeah. for anyone to pick up. Yeah, your mailman's like, I love that episode. It's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It's going to be a great one for you. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about Ant-Man. This is the uh, this is the third one. Yeah. Right. It's it's. Massive. Let's talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp, shall we? Oh, sorry, Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, you are the Wasp. Let's talk about the Wasp and Ant-Man. Uh, <laughs> Quantum Mania. Uh, it is massive, yeah. massive, massive world, uh, and and you shrink to a very small size. And I'm watching this. I saw uh, I saw it last night. Yeah. And you do this thing when when you when you go into it, and you kind of like you kind of move your head. How do you know that? No, I watched it. I... No, but can you tell? I don't think you're supposed to be able to tell. Yes, you have to. Really? Paul, Paul does it too. Yeah, because the helmet has to come up, so you have to kind of do this like, like this thing. You no, know? I, it's like... I, I, that's why I want to yeah, ask you like... about it. I what? No, it's, Paul does it too. It's ridiculous, actually. And then when you shrink, I can't do it sitting down. I'm going to stand up. Do you want? Can I stand up? Sure, of okay. course. Okay, yeah. I'm going to stand up. So when I shrink, I have to do this thing where I kind of like make myself get small. So I do the, the nod for the helmet, yeah. and then I go. Whoosh, on set, but I can't do it without making the noise. So... Wait, so, wait, so you had to go? Whoosh. Yeah, so I go. Oh, wait, that was that was okay. Thank but you. But if you oh, stand well, up, you'll get. I think you'll get better. You me, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you should come around, right, and I can teach yeah, you. So, yeah, so and then actually, original M. And first, you had to do this, right? You had to do this. Yeah. Oh, that's for the right? original. The one. helmet, and then the string. Whoosh. Yeah. All right, yeah. But but try not to make the noise. It's impossible. You can't do it. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of in my head, I'm like, I'm like, no, you're getting small. But then, 
But then now that you're small, now, no, I'm small. now how do you act? Now what do you do? You but, can't do the but scene no, like this. So the first time Paul ever did this, he was like, he was like this in the scene, like trying to get out of, out of the scene. He was crawling away so he wasn't just hanging out at the bottom of the scene. For the rest of the scene. <laughs> So you're doing your thing and yeah. Paul Rudd is yeah, crawling away crawling from you. Yeah, he's crawling around behind the couch. <laughs> and then, it's, oh wait, and then sometimes when I shrink, I'm about to fly. That one, that one's the most embarrassing one because I have no hops, like none whatsoever. You, you so do I do know. that helmet. Okay, you do the, teach me how to do it. I want to fly. And then I have to somehow shrink yep. and fly, <laughs> fly at the same. So you, at the same time. I don't so know. you're going like that. <laughs> You make it look good, though. I don't. That's not what I did. That's why I'm not in any movie. You see that, and you go, "That's not anything at all." You're not flying. You I make don't it look. You, for... you make it look flawless, oh, and it is amazing. Ridiculous. And it's so fun. And I gotta say, the scene that sticks out: Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, <gasps> Michael Douglas, play your parents. Good grief! Come on, how I cool mean, is that? It's the coolest thing ever. And then who comes off? Dude, my 42nd birthday. No. I, no, my 42nd birthday, I'm at a table doing a talking head scene with Michelle Pfeiffer, Michael Douglas, and Bill Murray. Yeah, Bill Murray is in the movie. And I was like, somebody sent the invitation to the wrong house. <laughs> I am not supposed to be here. How did I get here? It's so cool. No, because you belong there. It's what are you talking so cool. about? So you just hang out with those guys? Just, hang, just they... hang in with Michelle, Michael, and Bill. Do they know? Yeah, yeah not my doll. Yeah. It's just Bell. <laughs> It's my buddy Bell. That's my buddy Bell and Michelle. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, uh, We're and tight. Michael, Michael, We're tight. Michelle, Bell, Bell, Michael, Michelle, Bell. <laughs> uh, did they know it was your birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were actually we were on the volume, and that's a stage with like thousands of LED lights that create the quantum realm around us, which is really, really special. And what do you all... see when you when you're in the volume? So, what you see in the movie, we actually were in that. Oh, so it does look like they that. looked like that. So That's instead of real. green screen, instead of trying to imagine all of it, it was right there. I watched Krylar's ship come down from the heavens and Bill Murray walk out of it. No way! It was, it was so fun. It was happy like, birthday. I know. It to was so you. Come good. on, that's it was the so best. Good. Uh, can we set up what's going on with uh, the wasp and Ant Man? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna try. I think we set set it up really, really well. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> we set it up really well. Yeah, Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum, quantum mania. mania. So, so I think in this clip. Uh, right? Yep. I think yep. that um, this beautiful family nucleus that's formed now between the Langs, the Pims, and the Van Dynes. Yes. Do you know who those people are? Of course. It's... Do I have to explain who those people are? No. No, let's carry on. Yes. They're all in the basement. It's and... very family, uh, this movie. Yeah, if great. you haven't watched the first two films, then you're not my friend anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to watch the no, first two. No, I'm not going to explain right it for it. you. Yeah, you get yeah. Right. so we're in Hank's lab, and Cassie has opened a two-way radio to the quantum realm. And Janet's not very happy about this. Yep. And then things happen. There you go. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Evangeline Lilly in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Take a look. So you've been studying the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ask me about it? I tried, Mom. A lot. You never wanted to talk about it. Cassie's just been curious, and we, we gave her some pointers. This isn't exactly ant science, is it, Henry? You know how dangerous the quantum realm is. We all do, Mom. Nobody's going to the quantum realm. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space or the ocean. But... Quantum. No! <laughs> Don't let him know! <laughs> Evangeline Lilly, and man and the Wasp! Quantum Mania is in theaters and IMAX February 17th. More tonight show after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.